The overall goal of this procedure is to isolate mitochondria and perform mitochondrial respiration. This is accomplished by first isolating skeletal muscle from Sprague Dawley rats. Next, the muscle is homogenized and the mitochondria are isolated by centrifugation. The protein concentration is then determined using the Bradford assay. Finally, mitochondrial respiration is measured by polarography. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show oxygen consumption through the different mitochondrial respiration states. This method can help answer key questions in the skeletal muscle field, such as the effect of different interventions of mitochondrial function. Though this method can provide insight into skeletal muscle metabolism, it can also be applied to other organs such as liver, brain, kidney, or almost any tissue. Before beginning the procedure to isolate rat skeletal muscle, prepare the following solutions. PBS, PBS plus 10 millimolar EDTA, 8 times mitochondria buffer, isolation buffer 1 or IB1, isolation buffer 2 or IB2, and experimental buffer or EB. See the accompanying written protocol for instructions. Next, turn on the centrifuge and set it to 4 degrees Celsius. Turn on a water bath and set it to 37 degrees Celsius. In an ice bucket, Put three 10 milliliter beakers, Potter Elval Gem tissue grinders, small surgical scissors, and